Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the problem of slow startup with Windows 10. Before I proceed, I would want to demonstrate this problem on this HP Pavilion DB6. It's an i5 processor laptop, so it should be relatively fast to boot. So I'm going to turn it on and then we monitor and see how long it takes to boot to desktop. Now this may occur at any point in time for many different reasons. It could be due to graphic card or graphic driver problem. It could be as a result of high startup impact applications and processes running on the computer. It could be a virtual memory error or malware. It could even be that the fast boot utility on the computer is doing the exact opposite of what it's designed to do. Now for this laptop, it could rarely be as a result of malware because I just upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So more than likely, we are going to have to check with the other possible causes of this slow startup problem. And then we are going to fix and see the impact each fix has. And at the end of the day, we could test again and see how long it takes to boot this PC to desktop. Moreover, I did a search online and I discovered that this problem is kind of peculiar also to certain brands of computers. And this HP Pavilion DB6 is one of the computers that has been reported to have this problem like frequently after upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So you might have to check your PC brand might also be one of those that encounter this problem. So it's not necessarily due to any negative. It, it could just be due to the actual hardware components of your computer. A typical sign of this problem is the blank dark screen that pops up after the glowing Windows logo screen. This screen persists for over a minute in most cases. In the case of this HP Pavilion DB6, it persists for about 80 seconds. So if you're having this kind of problem, then possibly this could be your solution. And there we go. It took about 100 seconds to boot this PC to desktop. So now I'm going to switch to my laptop screen to show you a step-by-step -step procedure on how to fix this problem. Okay, so the first thing is to ensure that your computer is connected to the internet. Then go to your Cortana search box or whatever search box you use and type reg edit. You see the reg edit tool, right click and run as administrator. Now from the registry editor window, using control F, you search for enable ULPS and click enter. Now the system is going to search your registry for the ULPS utility configuration file. This might take a while, so we're going to wait a bit. Okay, so now we have our search result. From here, we should find this enable ULPS configuration file. Double click and change the value data to zero. Leave the base as hexadecimal and click OK. Now close the window and then restart your computer. Okay, so after restarting, use the keyboard combination, Control shift escape to go to the task manager. And then from here, you click on Startup tab. Here you should see the processes and applications that run on your system startup. So from here, you are going to see the startup impact of those applications and processes as well. So you should identify those processes that have high startup impact. In this case, you see the Microsoft OneDrive and the Catalyst Control Center. So here we deactivate this. We disable them by right clicking and selecting disable. Right click and select disable. If there's any other process that has high startup impact, you can also disable it as well. Then close this window and restart your computer again. Okay, so after rebooting, we're going to do one more thing to correct this problem of slow booting with Windows 10. You go to your search and type power and sleep. 
settings you should find it from your best match click on it and scroll down a bit click on additional power settings then click on choose what the power button does from here you should see your shutdown settings so initially these options are in grey so you cannot change them to change them you need to click on change settings that are currently unavailable wait a bit and then from here you turn off the fast startup so you uncheck the box to turn off this fast startup then save changes close this window and restart your computer once again now upon restarting you should discover that your computer takes a lot less time to restart now I'm going to switch back to my camera to actually show how long this computer now takes to start up after using these procedures to correct the slow booting so now it takes only 20 seconds to boot to desktop and that completes the session if you have any questions regarding the procedures in this video you can post in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible please remember to subscribe to my channel for future videos and share with anyone who might find it useful thanks for watching and see you again soon